Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reva. This time I'm showing you something from Buildcraft. This is the Stripes Transport Pipe. So for this you'll need a glass block, an ink sack, and some dandelion yellow dye. And you place them like that, or like that, and it produces eight stripes pipes. Stripes pipes are unique in that if an item or block enters them from an adjacent pipe, it will be treated as if the item has been right-clicked in the block in front. So if I place one here, as you can see this block of stone is coming from the pipe, and it enters the stripes pipe, and is then placed in front, just like from a deployer. The additional advantage is if the pipe is then powered by a redstone engine, it breaks it and takes it back. It's also worth noting that, just like a block breaker, it will break any block, no matter how strong, instantly, such as obsidian. Should a block be placed and then another one enters the pipe, there will not be space for it, so instead it will place it one above. This however only works once and any additional blocks that enter the stripes pipe will simply be dropped. It's also worth noting that it will only destroy the block directly in front, and so if a block is placed above, it will never be touched. It does have some limitations, however. For as it right-clicks with an item instead of left-clicking, it cannot use tools, and any kind of item that has no clickable ability is useless. Tools or items that have a right-clicking ability, such as the flint and steel, will use it when entered into a stripes pipe. However, the downside is that they'll automatically be ejected out of it, and in this case, into the fire it just created. Perhaps one of the main advantages of the stripes pipe is its ability to place pipes. And unlike every other function it has, it places the pipe where it currently is, and moves the stripe pipe along one, like this. This allows a player to automatically build a pipeline without having to go through and build it manually. It's not limited to just building with the pipe that the pipe is currently made of. For example, this is made of stone, whereas the pipe that's about to enter the stripes pipe is a cobblestone transport pipe. In this case, it again replaces the stripes pipe and moves it along one, but as it is the cobblestone stone connection, those will not connect at all. Iron and wooden pipe can enter normally, however there are issues in that iron pipe will spawn with each side opaque, and therefore nothing can enter the pipe at all, and you need to use a buildcraft wrench to decide where the output is. Should another stripes pipe be sent through to be placed, it will not place it like an ordinary pipe, and but instead like a block, placing it in front and not connecting to it, like so. Any additional stripes pipes will either be placed one above, or just simply dropped. Thank you for watching, if you have any requests please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Catch you later!